The Nevada Department of Highways was formed on March 23, 1917 with a mission to surface what were often rutted dirt paths. Highway construction of the time was an arduous undertaking through Nevada's desert expanses, with teams of horses grading the roads. 1919. The first vehicle through the country has generally made the location for the future roads, with a result that in some cases the roads are very poorly located, noted the department's first report. It was no pleasure to take that shiny new car out and attempt to negotiate the average rutted path serving as a road. Mr. Average Citizen found that the motor car had gradually become almost indispensable to him in his business and professional life. There developed a growing and insistent demand throughout the country for better road conditions. Conditions. In January 1919, the department's first construction project built a trestle bridge over the Humboldt River in Pershing County at a cost of $10,953. In the same year, a $72,000 project kicked off to build a concrete roadway from Reno to almost six miles south. June 11, 1921. We at the Department of Highways are aware that the citizens of Nevada are entitled to know all there is to know of this department. We of Nevada have inaugurated a great state highway building program to extend through the years to come, the responsibility for which is founded in a definite organization, which must have the confidence of the public for whom it is working. In the mid-1920s, the state's 45 mile per hour speed limit was removed and replaced with a guideline to limit speeds to that of sane and safe driving. In 1923, another vital source of transportation funding was forged as the state gasoline tax came into being as an important resource for developing the state's transportation system. In 1929, the last Nevada link of U.S. Highway 91 near Apex was oiled, providing a smooth highway from California across Nevada between the California and Arizona state borders. In later years, it would pave the way for Nevada's busiest interstate, I-15, which now travels alongside the iconic Las Vegas Strip. In 1931, a 124-foot-long tunnel was blasted through Lake Tahoe's Cave Rock to create a roadway bypassing a previously harrowing drive alongside the lakeside rock face. A traffic safety program was launched in 1936. Within two short years, the department's driving safety literature and programs became so popular that 12 safety committees were formed across the state to spread the word. As World War II erupted, many highway employees left to fight the war. The department's 1940 to 1942 biannual report was dedicated to those very fine young men who have left this department to go into the service of our country, and with a sincere hope that they will all return to resume their duties with the department as soon as the world is safe for decent living people. In 1956, President Eisenhower signed the Federal Highway Act to build 41,000 miles of interstate highway across the nation. Nevada then had a pivotal role in completion of the interstate system when a new section of interstate in Lovelock was completed, eliminating the last traffic signal on Interstate 80 between the Pacific and Atlantic coasts. While there had been no speed limit for decades, a speed limit law established lower speed zones on certain sections of highways in 1955. 1957. Prior, we have concentrated on what might be labeled pioneer road building. The gradual development of dirt trails 40 years ago into a 4,300 mile network of paved roads. Now, in turning our attention to the building of the modern four lane interstate freeways, we are entering a new and expanded phase of highway activity. In the 1960s, a hard hat and safety vest program was implemented, requiring NDOT employees to wear safety vests while working on the roadway. 1965. Future highway activity will have to meet the needs resulting from population growth and urban development. The original Las Vegas Spaghetti Bowl was completed in 1968. The interchange connected Interstate 15 to the new Crosstown Las Vegas Expressway. On September 25, 1975, the I-80 Carlin tunnels west of Elko were open to traffic. The tunnels provide smoother, safer interstate travel by bypassing a sharply curvy stretch of U.S. Highway 40 alongside the Humboldt River. As the 1970s ended, the Department of Highways changed its name to the Nevada Department of Transportation, seeking balanced transportation policy and planning and incorporating state, social, environmental, and economic goals. In 1985, NDOT led the transportation industry by installing a road weather information system along Mount Rose Highway south of Reno. 
System sensors transmit road condition information and temperatures, allowing NDOT to better control when, where, and how much sand and salt is used on winter roads. U.S. Highway 50 was officially named the loneliest road in America by Life magazine in 1986. In the 1990s, NDOT embarked on a list of superhighway construction plans totaling $1.5 billion in response to a statewide population explosion. The superhighway strategy included widening Interstate 15 between Las Vegas and the California state line, widening U.S. Highway 95 in the northwest Las Vegas Valley, extending Interstate 580 between Reno and Carson City, improving U.S. Highway 93 through Boulder City, and starting construction on the Las Vegas Beltway. In 1991, the Nevada State Legislature established a bicycle and pedestrian planning position within NDOT, responsible for integrating the needs of bicyclists into NDOT road projects and programs. In January 1997, downtown Reno Sparks streets flooded and bridges across the Truckee River were closed as water surged across roadways. Westbound lanes of Interstate 80 near the Helms Pit and Sparks crumbled. Large rocks and 125,000 cubic yards of material were dumped into the south end of the pit, and the roadway was stabilized in six days. In 1998, the department implemented the Freeway Service Patrol, a fleet of vans that cruise the freeways to help keep traffic safely flowing. A makeover of the Interstate 515 and 215 Beltway interchange, known as the Henderson Spaghetti Bowl, broke ground in September 2003. The first segment of the Carson City Freeway consisting of a 3.5 mile long freeway from US 50 to US 395 north of Carson was completed in 2006. The department began using technology to better manage congestion by building the freeway and arterial system of transportation in 2005. The $15 million complex in southwest Clark County was launched to manage and monitor traffic in the state's three largest cities, Las Vegas, Henderson, and North Las Vegas, through 600 cameras and a network of pavement, Bluetooth, and microwave sensors. Statewide traffic fatalities reached an all-time high in 2006, with more than 430 lives lost on Nevada roads. Collaboratively with traffic and safety stakeholders across the state, the department launched the Strategic Highway Safety Plan in 2006. To this day, the plan identifies targeted strategies to save lives on Nevada roads through its Zero Fatalities program. The Michael Callahan Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge opened on October 19, 2010. The four-lane bridge soaring nearly 90 stories above the Colorado River eliminated the narrow switchbacks and low travel speeds that had long plagued the US-93 crossing the Hoover Dam. In 2012, an 8.5-mile extension of Interstate 580 between Reno and Carson City was constructed, including a 1,722-foot-long, 295-foot-tall cathedral arch bridge traversing the Galena Creek. In 2015, NDOT broke ground on the first phase of the long-awaited Interstate 11 in Boulder City. Interstate 11 will improve motorist safety and convenience while reducing travel time by 30 minutes with a direct link bypassing Boulder City. The project marks the first new infrastructure to the interstate highway system since it was deemed complete in 1992. Construction is scheduled for completion in late 2017. In 2015, the Nevada Legislature approved Senate Bill 324 and a budget amendment that gave NDOT the resources necessary to build a robust stormwater division that meets and exceeds federal and state stormwater requirements. NDOT Stormwater Division is committed to prevent contamination by controlling sources of pollutants, preserve clarity and reduce pollution in stormwater runoff from NDOT roads and projects, and protect Nevada's water resources today and for future generations. In 2016, the state embarked upon an even bigger undertaking with Project NEON, the largest and most expensive public works ever undertaken during Nevada's 152-year history. The nearly $1 billion project will widen 3.7 miles of Interstate 15 between Sahara Avenue and the Spaghetti Bowl Interchange in downtown Las Vegas. Today, the department builds, maintains, and operates 13,000-plus lane miles of state road roads which have been ranked among the nation's smoothest. More than one and a half million bus rides are provided every year on federal transit money NDOT administers to rural Nevada transit providers. Meanwhile, by rail and air, NDOT supports regional and rural aviation and railroad services to safely heighten Nevada's transportation and tourist options.
Hi, I'm Rudy Malfbun, and we're celebrating the 100th anniversary of NDOT. Happy anniversary, NDOT! Drive safe, Nevada.